on Growing Up Hip Hop. Baby. Sam is faced with charges. Assault with a deadly weapon. He's trying to glorify his gangster. Listen. Where is Sam? This can never happen again. Uh, you in America. You black. That's the only reason the cop need to have to kill you. Twist face jail time. For a gun charge? I'm scared. But he beat the rat. Woo! We did it, America! He threw a ass free now party. Just want to say I'm happy that Twist is free. Appreciate y'all. Sequoia is torn about whether she's going to accept this invite. Little Twist is having a party I was invited to. Because she got a little funk with people. Everybody's going to be there. Stand up for what you believe in. I just didn't want that to be awkward. Oh, look who's here. I was sitting there, y'all. It was crazy. I don't give a fuck about you. Go take care of your son or do something. Not bringing my oh. Cree was triggered by something Sequoia said. Don't talk to me about having no mother kids. But don't nobody know what it is. You know I don't do this no, first of all, I'm talking about... You sound like me. Bring on the women! Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Uncle Luke is in Miami at the carnival and meets up with Cree for a chat. Cree lets Luke know about her altercation with Sequoia. She lets Luke know she blacked out and Luke says he could relate. Despite this, Cree isn't ready to tell him what triggered her. Well, the comments Sequoia made regarding having babies, of course. Back in LA, Sequoia is in the studio recording songs when Brianna stops by to talk about what happened. Brianna's canvas was damaged and she's still furious about what occurred. Sequoia says Savannah started it all and Sequoia was ready to apologize for what had happened at the showcase last season. Brianna, Savannah is messy as okay? She started all of this basically i was coming to like you know make things look be cooler and you still trying to be all ratchet and later on brianna offers to introduce sequoia to titi and vanessa and sequoia wants to talk to vanessa and set things straight have you met titi yet i haven't met titi yet i'm linking up with titi because she's in town and yeah, I think it would be nice to introduce you to her. And then I think Vanessa may come as well. Meanwhile, in Las Vegas, Sam reveals to Eric the scope of the charges he's facing. This includes possible prison time up to 15 years. Apparently, they were security with weapons and they jumped someone with them. Sam had a weapon on him too when the police arrived and he was arrested. Yeah, four counts. So. Damn, Sam. This seriously worried Eric because of Egypt, but Sam isn't worried. He feels Egypt can hold herself down and can pursue her dreams. Eric then brings up his kids and brings up how it can be in jail, being away from loved ones, but overall, Eric's concerned that Sam got himself into major trouble. Hello! Hi. Hi. Back in LA, Brianna's hosting TT and Vanessa for a night of aroma therapy. As they indulge in essential oils, Brianna tells them she actually likes Sequoia. So much so, she invited Sequoia to their event, surprising TT and Vanessa. You have met her. Vanessa feels uncomfortable, but Sequoia wants to smooth things over. She explains what she really said about Angela dating her baby's father and how things blew up at Jojo's showcase. Okay, just a little awkward just because I know, I don't know if you have like situations with my family. I had no idea Tanisha was pregnant. I was, that was my first time meeting her. So with your sister, I don't have a problem with her at all. So as far as with Tanise, like that just completely happened. I feel like maybe I took the compliment, like it went over my head and I kind of like overreacted and I wanted to apologize to her. Vanessa encourages her to talk to Tanise. Can we all just admire Vanessa's maturity level? In the midst of all the stupidity and the drama that these ladies slash women are going through can we just admire vanessa's maturity 
Thank you. Speaking about drama, Cree and Savannah's name come up and Sakoya feels she was bullied by them. I a thousand percent agree she is right. What do you think, Couch Potatoes? Was she bullied by them? Cree and Savannah kind of like just, they're big bullies when it comes to me. Like I felt very bullied at the pool party and it was just like they were not even trying to hear what I had to say. They were just like, oh, you start shit, it's okay. Now we want to fight you because you have a problem with Tanise. And I'm like, I don't even have a problem with Tanise. Those girls, they just, they're something else. I don't know. Back in New York, Tyrant's vaccination status causes major problems for TT and the wedding. Because you're not vaccinated and we're meeting out back. Oh, uh huh. You know God. the drill, bro. She wants Tyrant to show up, but doesn't want to put her guests at risk of the virus. TT, this is simple. Test Tyrant. Are you going to get vaccinated or not? Even knowing that that could mean you can't come to my one and only wedding. No, I'm not going to get vaccinated. Yeah, so I think you'll need to test. Go down there like four days before and test again. Because the problem is it takes four days to show up in your body, which is the most recent, I guess, agreed upon sign. The next day, Cree and Sakoya have a sit down. Cree immediately was regretful of her actions at Twist's party. She explains what took her over the edge. During the conversation, colorism comes up. Cree's deflection. Oh, I'm so over Cree. I am over Cree. So Koya says she wasn't speaking from a place of colorism. Of course not, they are the same shade. All three of them, there could be tint or a hint, lighter or darker, but they're all dark brown girls. Sakoya also explains that her baby's father dated Angela back in the day and didn't want things to feel uncomfortable. Overall, Kree's ready to squash the beef and Sakoya agrees, but Sakoya is on edge with Savannah. However, she is ready to squash any tension between her and Tenise in the I room together want to figure those things out with Tanise for sure back in las vegas sam gets honest about what he's facing with egypt and pepper i talked to my attorney it's becoming one of those situations where everything's kind of falling apart what this overwhelms egypt who can't be without sam that long egypt is just blonde like i'm over egypt they tried to shine the light and she was like, nope, I'm okay walking into darkness, so girl, deal. Egypt is going to stay loyal to Sam through it all. Peppa, on the other hand, feels differently. Peppa reiterates that she told Sam to stop getting to these altercations. We're gonna be all right. I hope you learned your lesson. I didn't approach them, I never pointed, I never nothing, and they were like, 20 right, right. yards away and that's what the judge has to be able to look at he's gonna this also doing a terrible job of being a mom i am sorry i don't have a kid but if i did i wouldn't want my kid to go through all of this drama because of some boy i said it to y'all over and over and i've been telling you you gotta stop like the emotions with the with these people because it doesn't matter, like you're gonna lose like that. Pepper is also feeling the weight of what happened. Interestingly enough, Sam tells Pepper to make sure Egypt doesn't wait on him if he gets locked up and this shocks Pepper. Can you no. make me a promise though? What? Just between you and me? What? If anything does go south and I'm serving some time, you make sure she don't worry about me and just does her. That's the most important thing to me. Like, I don't care if it's one year, 10 years, make sure that she keeps chasing her She don't sit and try to wait for me. Don't wait, I'll be back out. She, she shouldn't have been in that situation in the first place. And you know, that's a lot of the things people said about me. Oh, this man's gonna get this girl in trouble. You're right, I technically did. I got her in trouble. So to me, it's, it's, that's the punishment I, I'll have to face. What are your thoughts about the episode Couch Potatoes? I feel like Cree inserts herself into drama that has absolutely nothing, zero, loot or nicks to do with her. She, she's always ready to fight or argue about any and everything.
Hey, can we have a moment where there's drama happening and we see her sitting down? She doesn't have to insert herself. Why does she feel like there's a need? The other day, she, she, she had drama with Tahira because of what's happening between Titi and Egypt. And she doesn't know any of them. She just came in, what's it, last season. And the Egypt and Titi thing had been going on for so long. So she, she just likes to insert herself in any and everything. What are your thoughts um, of this episode, Couch Potatoes? Let me know your comments. Let me know them in the comment section below. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.